Hey, Kirk here with Secret Nature. It is March 21st, the spring equinox. You know what that means? We gotta see if we can balance some eggs. Okay, so let's see what we can do. It's the equinox. If we have a steady hand, we should be able to get an egg like this to balance. Oh, and there it is. It must be the spring equinox. You know, I learned about this when I was a kid. The spring equinox, they say, is the only day of the year that you can do this. Balance a shape that would normally not want to stand on end, up on end. Uh, has something to do with the spin of the earth or where we are around the sun or something. I don't know. You know, my dad, he was the one who first told me about this when I was just a little kid. He works in the radio business and he would talk about how the DJs and the on-air personalities would talk to the public and say, hey, today is the equinox. I've heard you can do this. Give it a shot. And sure enough, the phone boards would light up. Hey folks, today is the spring equinox. Thanks for tuning in. You know, we are talking to callers here who are balancing eggs on end, something you can only do on the equinox. And we're going to go to line two. Looks like we have Gary in Minneapolis. Gary, you're on the air. Go ahead and tell me, what are you seeing out there? Hey, uh, thanks for taking my call. Uh, so I, I have successfully uh, gotten the egg to stand on end. Hey, that's great, Gary. Thanks for calling in. Remember, only on the Equinox. Here's the other half of that story, though. The half my dad told me back when I was a kid is that sometimes those very same on-air personalities, well, they were a little mischievous and also, I guess, curious. So they'd go on the air on days that were not the Equinox and tell people it was the Equinox. Think of it as a bit of an experiment. And they'd say, try to balance your eggs on end today. It should work. And sure enough, people called in. Hey folks, thanks for tuning in. You know, just a reminder, today is the spring equinox, the day you can balance an egg on end. Our phone lines are lighting up here with callers. Let's go ahead and talk to uh, Gary in Minneapolis on line two. How are you doing there, Gary? What are you seeing? Hello, yes. Yes, thanks for taking my call. I've been uh, working on it here for some time, and I have uh, I have successfully uh, stood the egg, uh, egg on end. Hey, hey, Gary. Uh, thanks for calling in. You know, remember, you can only balance an egg like this on the Equinox. You know, it turns out you can balance an egg on end any day of the year. And just so you don't think this is a trick, I can blow it right over. It's not stuck to the counter or anything. You know, a shape like this, an ovoid, really shouldn't stand up, except that this isn't perfect. If you look closely at an egg, it's got all these little tiny dots and bumps on it. The egg-making process inside the chicken isn't perfect. This is made out of calcium, and you get little calcium deposits all over the outside of the egg. They act kind of like a kickstand on a bicycle. And, uh, you know, they don't have to be big. They could be the size of a grain of sand or smaller, but they'll stop it from rolling in one direction or the other. There's also a similar story that you can balance brooms on end on the winter solstice. Well, it doesn't really matter if it's the solstice or the equinox or what day it is. If you have enough patience, you can get all kinds of improbable things to balance. The fact that we use eggs in springtime probably has something to do with our weird fascination with springtime and fertility. It's why kids go and collect eggs on Easter. Well, you know what? If you like videos like this, learning more about nature and science and how things work, go ahead and click on subscribe over here and uh, see you next time for more Secret Nature.